But the really big thing here is that they cannot accept that they're not that strong yet. But if you actually do accept that you're not that strong, that's what makes you strong in the long run. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. I'm officially a YouTuber now. We got a car video and I'm sitting out here in the laundromat parking lot. It's November and it's like 90 freaking degrees. The laundromat sets off my depression like what a sad place the laundromat is. So make sure to subscribe. What we're gonna talk about today is something I saw in the gym yesterday. And I'm sure you see this a lot in your gym too if you train in a commercial gym like most people do. But this is something a lot of guys, especially young guys, do in the gym constantly. More or less every single time they go in. You have your training partner, neither of you know how to actually train. 17 exercise chest day bra and get huge and swole bra. Make sure to take your three scoops of pre-workout bra to get hyped up. And these guys are at the bench, right? At the bench press, like good bros. They're the type of guys I always talk about on this channel, man. Young dudes couldn't have weighed any more than a buck fifty each, soaking wet. Just skinny, lanky guys. You know, they got on the tank top and the gym shark joggers. They're perfect, clueless gym guys. I mean, they're just perfect for this scenario. They do the bar, they do 25, then they get up to one plate aside. And the first kid who unracks it, his spotter's right over him, right nuts hanging in his face. You guys know how it is when you spot someone on the bench. And the kid unracks the 135, and you could tell from the way he lowered it down to his chest, he could not complete a single rep. He unracked it, lowered it down, you could see it start to speed up as it passed like the sticking point in the middle, it went to his chest and it sped up. <laughs> Based on that alone, I could tell he was not gonna get a clean rep. But what happens? He drops it to his chest, kind of panics a little bit. Then his spotter, oh you bro, scoops his hands under it, lifts it up. And I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna help him get two or three reps, whatever, right? They proceeded to do not one, not two, not three. They did 10 spotter assisted reps. Mind you, the kid in question, and also his training partner, I'd assume they're the same, they're the same size. They could not do 135 cleanly for a full range of motion rep. And I'm not making judgment, guys, because I used to be that way. I tell you guys, the first time I ever bench pressed, I did this alone, I threw out my shoulder the first time I ever benched. I put on one plate aside, because I was like, well, if the guys at the NFL Combine can do two plates, I can at least do one, right? So I thought, again, right, skinny spaghetti noodle, long arms, I was not built for that. But I put on a plate aside, 135, and I dive bombed it to my chest, and my shoulder popped. That was like my first day in the gym, guys. Why do you think I make all these videos, dude? I'm trying to help you young guys, seriously. <laughs> I was in the same boat as them. Now, luckily, I was able to get the bench off of myself, right? I had to hip thrust it up and get it in the second rung. He has his spotter, though. So he might not have got hurt because his spotter's there to prevent him from guillotining himself. Regardless, though, they're not building real strength. And this problem is so, so common, especially among the buddy-buddy gym bro culture, pre-workout bra, right? That's all these guys do. They don't have legitimate strength. Their form needs a ton of work. They don't eat enough food to actually grow because they main gain bra. So what do they do? They mask those problems by training together. They hype each other up and then they just spot assist each other through the entire workout. On paper, he technically should have had no reps. He's gonna go in next week now and guess what he's gonna do, right? 145, same bullshit. Spotter assisted, oh yeah, all you bro. One more! And that sounds cool, guys, but beside not actually building real strength, here's the biggest problem. I kind of alluded to this a minute ago. Just realized the camera has been sliding down this whole time. But that's the problem, guys, because not only are you not building real strength in these type of scenarios, the biggest issue comes whenever your spotter's not there, that one day your spotter's not there. Maybe he's out of town traveling, his cat got lupus, whatever the case is. I can't make it today, bro, I'm sorry. He's gonna go in alone one day and try that 135. He might get really overzealous, right, and try 155 or even 185. Because in his mind, he can do 135 for 10 because his gym bro spotter assists him in all those reps. Not all of the work, right, but he's doing enough work to where it invalidates any legitimate progress. So one day, that kid's gonna come in on his own and load up the bench and he's gonna drop the weight and then he's gonna realize, wait a minute, bro's not here. And then what's gonna happen? He's gonna get pinned under the weight. 
He's more than likely going to either roll it back toward his neck, potentially hurt himself. He's going to be sitting under there getting bruised ribs. I mean, best case scenario, some other guy just comes over and helps pulls it off of him. Even then for young guys, that's very embarrassing. They do not like that. You see what I mean though, guys? All of this nonsense could be avoided if he simply would just lower the weight. Even if you train with your gym bro, just accept the fact that you guys aren't that big and strong yet. And I understand, dude, like I said, I get it. As a young guy especially, it's very hard to go in the gym and not be able to cleanly bench 135. I know how mentally hard that is, but you gotta think long term here. Everything they do is heavier than they should be lifting because they have a spotter with them. Now, what you could do in this circumstance is like I said, 25 aside, crank out five, eight, 10 reps, whatever rep range you wanna work in, add five pounds, because again, these guys are still in the novice phase evidently, you can add weight slowly but surely, and within a few months' time, you're going to be up to a 175 or a 185 bench, right? If you eat enough food and if you recover properly and do the exercises correctly. But when you do this spotter-assisted clown show, they're going to flounder in that same range forever. They'll put on 185, grind it out, ooh, I got 185 for two, bro. Inevitably, they're going to watch enough YouTube, enough social media, they're going to try 225. And when skinny guys like this try 225 on the bench for the first time even with the spotter that can become risky because the spotter's still not that strong that's when guys get really messed up right they're not even strong enough to unrack it and stabilize it they dive bomb it they're gonna bounce it wrist shaking it's dangerous guys and all of this stems from well one the fact that the fitness industry doesn't teach anybody how to actually lift i've talked about that numerous times guys but the really big thing here is that they cannot accept that they're not that strong yet but if you actually do accept that you're not that strong, that's what makes you strong in the long run. I tell you guys myself, when I used to bench, I did the coper bench press. Half range of motion, constant tension bra, I was coping. I knew I was not that strong at the bench, so I shortened the range of motion to get more reps and more weight. So many guys do that, and I'm telling you, dude, if you can just take this couple week period to lower the weight below where you want it to be, master the form, maybe even do some paused reps, learn how to lift explosively and stay tight on the bench without spotter assistance. And again, I'm not saying your spotter can't help you or be there in case you fail, or maybe assist with one rep or two at the end. But spotting right off the bat, guys, is totally ludicrous. And it's sad, too, because these type of guys, I say they're stuck in the fake natty trap because they see their favorite fake natty influencer with the spotter every time. Oh, yeah, all you, crank it out, bro. Blood into the muscle, pump it out, bubba, all this stuff, right? Force reps, negatives, all this stuff. Guys, none of that matters if you have not built a base yet. If you're still in your newbie gains, guys, you can do all the drop sets, the force reps, all of the rest pause, all of these techniques. If you're still a novice with no base built, that is moot. That is irrelevant. And then what do they do after their bench press reps? In between, they do a superset. Guess what they do? They grab a 10 pound plate and start doing this, right? The cross body uh, fly. I guarantee you they saw it on Instagram that day or a couple days prior. I guarantee you. I've seen it too. That's the new thing going around, right? Oh, you want to isolate the inner chest? Your chest is small, right? Yeah. Well, you got to make sure to do this. A 10 pound plate squeezing across your body bro that's what's going to get you a big chest no it's not guys getting your bench from 135 to 185 or 200 up to 225 that's going to actually grow your chest and i'm not saying the bench press is the only thing you should do i'm not saying it's even the best chest exercise i don't think it is but regardless it's a time-tested effective compound movement that will get you results if you can just learn to respect the exercise. But what are these guys gonna keep doing? Oh, spotter assisted, bro, help me out, dude. Okay, superset, squeeze, contract, isolate. Oh yeah, man, I really feel my inner chest.